Shelter-in-place order is set to expire tomorrow night. Local and state governments continue to clash on what's best for the folks they're trying to protect. WJCL's Alex Little Hills is live tonight from Tybee Island with an inside look at the struggle between preserving the island's attractions and residents. Alex. Well, Shannon Riley, as Governor Kemp's shelter-in-place order is right now set to expire Thursday night, Tybee officials say that they could expect crowds as large as holidays like the 4th of July this weekend. So right now, Tybee officials are working on the possibility of containing those massive crowds, all adding to the division between local and state leaders. Tybee's leaders and the state have different views for how to handle the COVID-19 outbreak. But, but while he's saying shelter in place, he's opening the beach. Emails sent to WJCL 22 News show that Tybee Mayor Shirley Sessions emailed Governor Kemp's office on April 3rd, saying that reopening the beaches would be a devastating blow to the safety of our residents. City Council Member John Brannigan says he disagreed with the state's response. That, that little short email that says we look forward to working together. We weren't working together. Like I said, we were not. We were kicking and screaming and we weren't going down without a fight. Despite these disagreements, Governor Kemp's shelter in place order is set to expire Thursday night. Now Tybee Island is tasked to handle thousands of people they expect to show up this weekend as a result. Local agencies met today to work on parking and beach access issues so they can still keep their residents safe. Most likely they're going to push into the neighborhoods, which then puts our citizens at risk of having to come into closer contact with someone who it isn't on the island and may not be practicing the protocols of wearing a mask and gloves and or whatever, pra practicing proper social distancing. The plan is to open up beach crosswalks and parking lots one at a time on the day of, based on the size of the crowds. So we're not just opening it up to try to get people here and maximize the revenues and all that. What we're doing is saying, what's going to keep people safer? Now, another obstacle is that the island's lifeguards will reportedly not be at the beaches for another one to two weeks. From Tybee Island tonight, I'm Alex Little Hales for WJCL 22 News.